It's a very, very flavor of the month uh, mineral. But uh, flavor of the month and uses are, are widespread, so it's very difficult to get your head around. It's found in, in nature in, in three forms, amorphous, car, amorphous graphite, flake graphite, and, and lump graphite. And generally, the, the carbon content of those uh, three, three raw materials is different. And so you have to match the, the raw material you've got with the eventual use you, you need. So, but the, the important things are that the desirable properties of graphite, desirable properties are its high melting point, the fact that it's an excellent conductor of heat and electricity and has the highest natural strength and stiffness of any material. It, can be, it is non-toxic and it has a high resistance to corrosion. And we're going to look at a couple of uses. Oh, yeah, well, it occurs, and it occurs all over the place as well. There's no dots on the map in Australia, but uh, the ASX is littered with companies with graphite projects in Australia and in Africa. Um, I'm sure there's more projects in Africa than on this uh, on on this um, map, which are the producers of graphite in 2012. There's a lot of projects in the pipeline. So the key to graphite is finding a market with a specific, for a specific product. It's traded in tons as concentrated powder. The um, large high purity flake graphite is used in, in the battery industry and there's, it's in demand for lithium ion and vanadium batteries which are driving most of the demand for, the, for graphite. But we're also, oh, oh, I should have mentioned I guess, that uh, it's also used as, uh, uh, in electrodes in a large number of, of, of applications and um, used for producing uh, crucibles in, for refractory material and foundry linings, etc. So wide, a wide, lot of, wide variety of uses. But it also is becoming increasingly important in, in, um, in telecommunications and in uh, smartphones. This graph material called graphene, which is a, a single layer of carbon atoms in, with uh, hexagonal uh, joining, is very strong, very flexible, and has a wide variety of uses in, uh, in the electronics industry. The prices then vary dramatically depending on the end use. And so trying to, uh, trying to match your graphite to, the, to a use in a project is extraordinarily demanding. So if you're looking at a, at a graphite exploration project, you should be seeing whether the people have got an idea of how they're going to market, specifically how they're going to market, not just it's a very high value product. 